The red pill is a matrix reference, a metaphor for seeing the truth of how gender dynamics really work. Migto is the lifestyle and state of mind that occurs after you've taken the red pill. Steve, a mild-mannered gentleman from Wisconsin, has gotten a date with a fabulous woman named Christy. He was enjoying his date, and really thought well of Christy. She might even be the one. Oh Steve, what a lovely place. The food is just wonderful. You really pick the best spots. I'm glad you think so. I was worried. You hardly ate anything. Oh that's because I am a light eater. I don't eat very much. What do you think about children? I like children. I just don't think I am ready for them. What do you think about feminism? I'm all in favor of women's right to vote and everything like that, but I think far too many feminists are just crazy. Here you go sir, the red pill special. Steve then ate his dinner, and took the red pill special. Just moments after taking the red pill, everything changed. He began to read more into what his date was actually saying, the truth of what this date was, and what she really meant with her words became clear, and it went as such. I like to wear slutty clothes for male attention, but act offended when I get that attention if it is from a guy I am not interested in. I enjoy the privileges my beauty buys me. Men take me out to dinner, fight over me, give me a place to stay, and buy me drinks. I like knowing that if I start making YouTube videos my beauty will earn me a hundred times the subscribers as a man would have doing what I do. If I live cast, or stream video games, Pathetic men will donate thousands of dollars to me. I can earn more money playing video games on Twitch and doing my makeup on camera on YouTube than your average man will make until the age of 35. But rather than acknowledging this privilege, I'd rather bitch about it and claim men are objectifying me. Being born female gives me the power of beauty, and that power buys me everything. It's like being born a millionaire. It will buy clothes for me, jewelry, dinners, movie and theater tickets. And as I get older it will buy me a roof over my head, but rather than acknowledging the fact I was born privileged, I will call myself and my fellow sisters, marginalized. I think we should ban guns because guns kill people. If guns are legal, I'd be expected to protect myself. I think it is a man's job to protect me instead, and it is a job of police and government to protect me. I totally believe in astrology and believe that my horoscope accurately assesses my personality. I claim to like men that are smart, funny, and nice, all the while dating men who are bullies, jealous, controlling, and self-centered jerks, and then I cry about never being able to find a nice guy. I claim to want a man who is sensitive and can talk about his feelings and isn't afraid to cry. Yet any man that does anything like that would chase me off instantly. I am seeking out a white heterosexual cisgendered male, all the while blaming all of humanity's problems on the heterosexual cisgendered white male. I believe women are every bit as tough and capable as men. The fact we have babies makes us a million times tougher than men. Yet I support the Violence Against Women Act because women are fragile creatures that must be protected. I support women's right to join any branch of military, have lower standards, but equal pay and I am against women being drafted because women are far too fragile to fight in war. I enjoy going to college since my parents paid, and I've been irresponsibly partying the whole time. They didn't pay for me to go to college to be a strong independent woman, they paid for me to go to college to find a wealthy successful man to marry me and give them grandkids. Of course in this day and age no man is stupid enough to propose marriage fresh out of college, so I will have to poke holes in his condoms lie about being on the pill, or just get him really drunk. That's another thing I enjoy, you're too drunk to give consent, but only if you're a woman. I call myself a feminist, push to demonize male sexuality, push for women only programs, and push for double standards that favor women, all the while hiding behind the dictionary definition that feminism is a fight for equality. I like being able to play the role of strong independent career women. I don't need no man, and yet if my career fails, I like knowing I can find a good old-fashioned traditionalist man, and will happily renounce my title of feminist. I enjoy stupid booty shaking club music and reality TV and drama shows, talking on the phone, texting on the phone, and buying lots of clothes, and lots of makeup. I consider shopping to be a type of hobby. Sure, having those interests and hobbies would make anyone boring, but I have big breasts. So men will still want me, and pretend to care about every boring thing I say. I am overly emotional and unstable. I am a major crybaby.
all of which makes me a drama-filled wreck of a human being who you can never count on, but that just makes me like a daughter, and it's your job to take care of me like a father, and that helps you to feel manly, so I know you won't object or aim higher, I'm a vegetarian, I think animals are people, except for men, they're just animals. Except for the brown ones who are marginalized, yeah, I'm also full of white guilt. Even though I refuse to recognize my own white privilege, and will never hold my head in shame, because my vagina trumps all that shit and makes me an eternal victim. So other white people should feel guilt and check their privilege, but I won't, I am taking liberal arts, because I'm a social justice warrior. Though I want to be a psychologist because psychology is about talking about feelings, and I really enjoy feelings, and talking, and the best thing to talk about is feelings. However, I'm sure to settle for a lame-ass degree in women's studies, and then bitch about there being very few female engineers. Sure I could actually get a career in engineering, but that shit's tough, there's math and logic, I'd much rather go for a soft science about feelings and communication and communicating feelings. I'll just continue to blame lack of female engineers on patriarchy, and anyone that disagrees is a misogynist, and I don't let misogynists fuck me. So men will be sure to bob their head up and down, and agree that it's patriarchy. I support socialism because as a woman, I will probably be on welfare, and never defend myself, so I want a government that takes money from working people, like men for example, and gives to non-working people, women for example. I'm afraid of failure and demand a society with safety nets, besides someone has to take care of homeless men. Anyone who doesn't care about homeless people are greedy selfish, and heartless, of course myself would never take a homeless man home, bathe him, and give him sex, thereby making him feel like a real human being, fuck no. They're nasty, but hardworking men should totally give their money to hobos. And it shouldn't even be a choice, it should be government mandatory. After all, it's government's role to make sure that people act and behave the way I want them to, I like to blog about things. For example I blog about how in every facet of life, there should be a women's only space, but women should be allowed to enter into male spaces, and there should be no men only space because like every space is a men's space, except that contradicts the first half of my statement, but I totally won't sleep with a guy who calls me out on my hypocrisy, I love how I can state my absurd, sexist offensive opinions in public, and girls agree with me, because we are girls. And we all think alike, in spite of the fact we claim all women are different, and men will never call us out on our bullshit, because they want to get laid, and even though none of them are getting lucky with me, they think they have a shot if they just agree with me enough, I support feminism because women are underprivileged. And you know if you disagree with me, you won't get laid, so just continue sitting there nodding your head in agreement, I think if a woman sleeps with a guy and he doesn't call her the next day, she has been used for sex. But if a guy spends all of his money taking a woman out on a fancy date and she doesn't put out, in no way has the man been used, I have trust issues. If you don't know what that means, it means I am going to act like a spoiled brat, treat you like shit, I'm going to be jealous and controlling, and you probably won't get laid. But nonetheless you will jump through every hoop, put up with my shit, and do whatever I tell you, in an effort to gain my trust, which is really just an effort to get down my pants. You're using me for sex and I'm using you for everything but sex. The difference here is, I'll get everything I use you for, you'll never get laid, and you'll still end up looking like the bad guy because all you were thinking about was sex, you pig. After that dinner, after his new red pill perspective, Steve decided that he would end pursuing relationships with women, or at least date them with the understanding that it is not him who is being loved, it is his utility and function which is being admired, the women he dates will want what he has and what he can do for her, he will always be the means to the end, and not the end unto itself, born into a world that told him men are made of snips and snails and puppy dog tails, he has come to realize that women are not made from sugar and spice, or anything nice, Steve went on to be MIGTO.